Hey, greetings guys. Mark Boswell, Boswell Emergency Medical. Uh, on my way to work tonight, uh, Saturday night. Um, just gonna do a quick little video, hopefully only about three to five minutes max, talking about the priorities of care. Um, and this is this is something I really wanna drive home and it's gonna be useful for you guys taking this exam, either the CE exam or any other uh, standardized national certification exam that works with emergency medicine, emergency nursing. Um, when you read the stem of the question and it states what you have, it states your patient assessment and it states the interventions, you can assume by default, again, um, and you can do this because this is a professional standardized exam, you can assume that if a certain intervention has been done, then it falls under that part of the primary survey. So for example, if it says that the patient's airway has been suctioned, you can assume that the airway has been assessed first and then decided upon that suctioning was the appropriate intervention for that because we never, repeat, never do an intervention before an assessment. If the stem of the question already says a certain intervention has occurred, so let's say the, the exam question states that you've placed a tourniquet for uncontrolled external hemorrhaging, then you can assume that the A has already been addressed the B has already been addressed, and you're doing an intervention for C, i.e. a tourniquet, that means you already assessed the bleeding and you're intervening for it. Okay, so it, you can assume that those two prior steps have already been accomplished. Okay, you need to recognize this because sometimes they'll ask you what is the next thing to do or the next priority. Oh, right son here, hang on. I don't think I've ever had that during a video. Um, so sorry for the bright light here. So that's what I want to tell you is that if you see that it says an, an, an intervention has been done, you can assume safely that it's the appropriate intervention and you can assume that that means that step has already been assessed, intervened, and you're already up to that point in the primary survey, okay? Uh, again, just to give you another example, let's say, um, uh, let's say 100% non-rebreather is in place, okay, on your patient, um, on, your, on your, your question. You can assume then the A has been addressed and intervened if applicable, and then you can assume, because the non-rebreather's in place, that there is a breathing problem that mandates application of 100% non-rebreather, okay? I know this is perfect world on this exam. I get that, and I know that clinically, it's not always, it doesn't always reflect the actuality of what we do clinically, but again, because this is a national exam, it's very predictable, and it's very authoritative, and very structured towards that primary and secondary assessment survey with assessment always preceding interventions, okay? So I hope that helps. Keep that in mind and um, make sure you read your, your questions, either practice questions or exam questions for real, that you slow down and look for those things. Look for those key phrases, okay? All right, heading to work. Uh, Y'all have a safe rest of the weekend. Uh, hope whatever college football team you're watching wins or that you're pulling for, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Peace out, guys.